More than a dozen communities around the Northwest are benefiting from millions of dollars of joint federal and provincial funding for water infrastructure projects. The federal and Ontario governments recently announced a long list of cities, towns and First Nations receiving money through the Investing in Canada infrastructure program. Mitchell Ringos has more on where all that funding will go in our area. Area MP Patty Haidu says she's pleased to see her government spend $29 million on drinking water infrastructure around the Northwest. Ani Gaming First Nation and Lac Sewell First Nation will each receive a total of $4.6 million for several kilometers of new water mains in their communities, along with other upgrades. Wabagoon Lake Ojibwe Nation will receive $4.3 million for new water mains and new fire hydrants. Oh, there's a lot of infrastructure work to do on First Nations. This particular money is not coming from a First Nations stream of funding, but uh, First Nations communities have received significant investments, both through Infrastructure Canada and through Indigenous Services Canada, but there's still work to do. The town of Rainy River and Manitouage will each receive a total of $3.6 million for new underground water lines. Atacokan will see $3.2 million from Ottawa and the province, Red Lake gets $2.2 million, while Ear Falls will receive $1.7 million. Greenstone also getting $1.7 million to renovate the Long Lack water treatment plant. Kenora will receive $1.3 million for new water mains. White River is getting $1.1 million. Fort Francis gets $900,000 and Scriber will see nearly $380,000 for water main upgrades. Haidu explains how much of an impact these infrastructure projects will have in her riding. It's uh, really important money for small communities along the North Shore because oftentimes they don't have the tax base to do major infrastructure repairs. So communities like Manitouage or Scriber, uh, Long Lac, these are communities that often struggle to keep those, uh, those basic pieces of uh, water infrastructure intact and uh, this will go a long way, I'm sure, to help them in those goals. Each community is also contributing its own share of funding for the water system upgrades. The projects around the Northwest are expected to have varying starting dates for construction, with most of them planned for this summer. Mitchell Ringos, TBT News.